Okay, now we're going to do the um, diagonal support. So one sheet of paper will have four different diagonal supports on them. This side has the short and it's labeled short diagonal support. And then over here, you see the long diagonal supports. Each of your columns on your paper roller coaster will get a long and a short diagonal support. So again, you are going to need to cut this down the middle because there are two sets of diagonal supports for each sheet of paper. So we're gonna just work on this one right now. And before we cut this right here so that we have the short and long diagonal support, it's going to be easier if you actually go through and score this um, first. So we're gonna take our straight edge again and our pen, and we are gonna follow these um, bold dotted lines all the way down the paper. And you get, again, like the last video, you wanna make sure you can feel your pen marks on the back. If you can't, that means you need to press a little bit more firmly so that you can feel that fold and that pen mark. It'll make it much easier to fold when it's that time. Okay, one more. And then the other thing that you wanna trace, you also want to score right here, you're gonna see some very thin um, lines that are dotted. You also want to score those ones as well. So you're gonna take your straight edge trace those lines. There's one right here in the middle. You're going to have to turn it again. There's a, one right here. And then do the same thing on this other side for the short diagonal support. Okay, so we've got those. Now we're going to cut this. So we are going to cut along this solid fold. Now we have our diagonal support and our short diagonal support. Um, before we start folding these, you're gonna see these very bold solid lines. You wanna cut those as well. And don't call, cut all the way through, just cut right there. It's about an inch um, where those solid lines stop. That's where you stop cutting. Let's do this as well on the long diagonal support. Okay, now we are going to fold. And with our pen marks, this should be fairly easy to do if we've scored these correctly. Okay, there's one, and then we'll do the same thing for your short diagonal support. Okay, now we're going to take our tape and we are gonna tape these into a rectangle like this. You can use about two to three pieces. I think I'm going to use two. And then when you have that done, you just wanna, there's a little dotted line right there. You wanna fold that. You wanna fold this over. This line right here that you scored, you wanna fold that in. Okay, now we're gonna tape the short diagonal support together as well. Again, two pieces of tape should be plenty. And then you want to fold this, fold along that line, fold along this, and fold along this. Okay, once those are done, then you need your base and you should have some columns um, on your base. So both of these, the short and the long diagonal support will go on one column. So right here, it says attached to column. So that's gonna go on the top. This piece right here says attached to the base. So that piece is gonna go on the bottom. You're gonna push this flap down. You're gonna wrap it around the column just like that. That's where the long diagonal support is going to fit. And then for the short one, it, again, it says attached to column. This one says attached to base. So this side goes on the bottom. And this is gonna fit right underneath your long diagonal support so that when you have these taped, which we'll do here in a second, 
Um, each column will look like this. It'll have the long diagonal support. It'll have the short one right here. This is gonna provide a lot of support um, for your paper roller coaster. So the last step is just taping these down. You're gonna tape them down to the base. You're gonna need multiple pieces of tape for this part. You're also going to want to tape them to your column. You've got the little flaps on the sides that should make that easy. And then same thing for this small diagonal support. It should fit right underneath the long one. Again, use the flaps right along the base to tape them. And then tape this to the side of your column. Now, I can already tell a difference. I'm looking at this, I'm feeling this column right here, and it feels very, very sturdy. So you're gonna to wanna to do a short and a long diagonal support for each one of your columns.